Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, it's nice to stand here. I'm great. Hey. It's it's honor to stand here and talk with you about the fintech. Uh, I'm very, very happy to see so many people that are interested in fintech. And I'm happy that the year by year, the fintech going up and going up in Georgia. That's why I named my presentation fintech, fintechization of uh, Georgia. Um, I have a lot to talk about fintech because I have a lot of information about this sphere in not only, not only in Georgia, but in our, around the world. But unfortunately, I have only 10, 15 minutes maximum. So I will try to fit my information as possible in this uh, time. Very, very briefly, I would like to introduce myself. As already mentioned, I am David Kikridze. I'm a fintecher, I'm a lecturer, I'm an education obsessed. So why that? Because I strongly believe that fintech and education can change the world. So there is a lot of evidences in around the world where the high adoption of fintech in countries uh, change their reality, change their uh, everyday lives, improve financial literacy, improve happiness, improve, um, I don't know, uh, financial health and so on. So that's why I'm trying uh, with my best to introduce FinTech in Georgia and uh, rise awareness FinTech in Georgia. Also, I'm a chairman, as, as already mentioned, of FinTech Association of Georgia. I'm a, a service expert of the TBC Bank at Open API team, and also I'm a head of PBA program at Business and, Business and Technology University. That's all about me. Now let's talk about FinTech. What is FinTech? Before I start the, uh, talking about the ecosystem of Georgia and talk about what's going on here, let me very, very briefly, briefly introduce the uh, history of FinTech because I'm sure that uh, you know these facts uh, as well as me, but you cannot imagine that FinTech is already existing in our lives approximately from 19th century. The first wave of FinTech named 1.0, it start, starts in uh, 1867 and finished it approximately 1967, when the first fintech uh, events was introduced in the world. For example, first most maybe most important event in this period is the Diners Club and American Express, of course, and all this company we know very well. The second wave, when the SWIFT was founded, when the Barclays introduced first ATM in the world and first telephone banking was uh, introduced by the Giro Bank. And of course, the most uh, important event in this period is a PayPal. Of course, you are, everyone know what is PayPal and what kind of organization now the PayPal is um, the current stage. The third wave and maybe most important uh, period of the FinTech, uh, so it's, we can say that in this period, the term as a fintech was raised, 2008 crisis, financial crisis, when everything stops, everything, I don't know, the, uh, most of the banks from USA and not only USA going down. And this is a period where the fintech uh, maybe start his rising, starting becoming more powerful and part of powerful. And in this period, of course, first, maybe the most important events is the iPhone, the appearance of the iPhone, Apple, Google Wallet, Apple Pay, and of course, Bitcoin. And the last wave, um, dear friends, uh, it's, um, I would say that it's, it's my opinion because I divide it in all literature. We can say that we can find the FinTech uh, history is divided only on the three ways, three waves, but by my part, uh, I add one additional wave from 2019 when the COVID-19 became in our lives. So also I would say that COVID-19 was a very big opportunity for FinTech. In this period, um, investment in FinTech companies raised approximately 168 billion of dollars. So this, is, was, this, this was the one of the most important uh, step to development of the FinTech in all around the world. And the, also, one another event in this period was the CBDC. And the CBDC is a central bank digital currency. And I believe that CBDC can uh, really change our financial lives. 
Also, I would say that CBDC already introduced in our country, not, not adopted, but already introduced it. National Bank of Georgia already working about this solution. And I hope in very, very soon we can use this very beautiful uh, instrument in our country. Okay, now let's talk about uh, ecosystem. Uh, before I start also to talk about Georgian situation, we have to realize what is the, what is the FinTech in by which topics it, it exists uh, to the ecosystem. So the FinTech ecosystem contains five main topics. It's a market, it's a capital, it's a regulations and the regulatory, it's a talent, it's an infrastructure. And um, now we can talk about Georgia. What's going on by this by this regard? The market. The market is where maybe one of the most important topic. It's uh, it contains the consumers, SME sectors, uh, and other all related related stakeholders which are using the fintech products. At the current stage in Georgia, the median age. I mean the um, retail consumers, customers or consumers maybe, it's uh, approximately 38, age, 38 years old. So we can say that it's not, uh, not, some, it's not a bad, bad, um, uh, bad figure because uh, in, Georgia, in Georgia we can say that we are a young generation, maybe mostly, and this means that we have very good adoption of technology. We every day using uh, mobile applications and it's a very important to adopt and rise fintech in Georgia, rise fintech products and services in Georgia. So this age may be very, very closely related to development of the uh, fintech products in Georgia. The social media users, 77%. It's uh, versus the population. So we can say that uh, the awareness of fintech by the social media is very high. Uh, consumer readiness, 81%. Accounting financial institutions, 61%. Unfortunately, 61%, I would say that it's not a very big figure because I'm also a banker. I'm also raised in banking sector, so I know what it means. So we need to move, we need to work about this. I'm happy to hear um, see the Bank of Georgia, one of the organizers. So uh, for my part uh, as well, from the, from the TBC Bank, we will work very, very closely, I hope, and very, very hardly to increase this figure because uh, the communication with financial sector and communication with banks is very important to increase uh, development of fintech in Georgia. Fintech companies, at the current stage in Georgia, we have approximately 60 companies and consumer and commercial banks is 14. From the fintech companies, I would say the most important players in the fintech sphere at Georgia is the payment, digital payment organizations. But particularly about this moment, I will talk a little bit later. Let's talk about the infrastructure, what we have at this in this regard in Georgia. Also, I would say that in infrastructure, Georgia is very in good condition. We have we have very good internet penetration, 72%. We have very good internet speeds, 29 megabits per second. And smartphoneization is 69% in Georgia. Decide what do, what do you think? I, I think 69% of smartphoneization is not bad. And it's very, very good figure. It's, it's really related to and gives the opportunity to adopt new financial products, services, mobile applications, and so on. And doing business ranking. Six per, uh, number six is also related that uh, to develop the fintech and also related to international investments because uh, any investor, any startup, any entrepreneur, any per, any person who wants to uh, start uh, business in Georgia has any kind of opportunity, any kind of infrastructure tools to establish company in Georgia and start uh, start operating here. As for regulations, maybe one of the important topics of the fintech sphere, because uh, in all countries, and especially UK, the UK is maybe um, maybe one of the first. For me, it's a first country for the development of UK because they have adopted every kind of fintech products and every kind of fintech services in their country. And also regarding to regarding to regulation, also they adopt all kinds of regulations which related to develop the fintech sphere. And uh, what's going on in Georgia? 
the our regulators, National Bank of Georgia, and I think NBG is the most appropriate uh, legal entity, governmental entity who has to regulate the fintech sphere. And I would say they they um, good enough to regulate uh, this fair in Georgia, and I'm happy that they are already introduced different types of regulatory um, pools in Georgia, and also they are working very, very hardly to introduce new regulations, new flexible regulations, I would say, uh, to help fintech fair develop in our country. Sandboxes. National Bank of Georgia also already, uh, approximately two years ago, already introduced the uh, technology sandboxes where the any company, any fintech organization can test their products and services and be in compliance with regulations. Innovation Office, this is the department of N the NBG which are helping uh, any kind of fintech companies to help in adoption to establishment in Georgia, help to be in compliance in, compliance in regulation in Georgia and providing any consultation regarding to establishment and development of the organization. And um, at last, I would say the open banking and other development regulation, the open banking uh, is main point of the, the fintech development. Uh, as you know, already the EU in European Union and UK uh, open banking is already adopted and working very good. And at the current stage, uh, we also, uh, Georgia passed very big way, many steps to adopt the thing to open banking in Georgia. So very, very uh, soon, uh, I hope in maximum one, maybe one and a half year, the jo in Georgia will be fully operated open banking, which opens a uh, huge amount of opportunities for the fintech companies, not only local companies, as well as international organizations and investors to enter in Georgian market and start operating here. So um, uh, finger crossed that the open banking will be very, very soon adopted fully in our country. And at last, I will talk about the talented capital. The talent also one of the most important uh, role of the development because the people uh, human beings is the people is the main tool which should adopt, should innovate, should establish new services, new products, new companies. I don't know new innovations. So uh, the high level of education system is very crucial for us. At the current stage, we have fifty three universities and uh, fifty five professional colleges, and I don't know. Uh, unlimited number of uh, training centers. Of course, maybe this figure is pretty good for the population uh, of country which has only 3.5 million uh, here, but unfortunately this is not enough. Maybe not enough, it's not, not proper, proper word, but we need uh, more high level of education in Georgia. And um, I, I, I will use this platform and say that I'm very sad that Every day I am uh, looking at the social media and our young generation, young people, very smart guys going uh, out from the country. And it's so sad for me. And uh, I would like to ask my, my students as well and uh, every kind of person who is working out, who, who, who is working abroad, uh, please work for Georgia because um, your brains is very important for us and you are the persons who can change our lives. So. The talent is the most important role in development of our country. And at last, the capital, uh, the money, that you can already imagine. The capital also is the source to establish the organization and uh, help to develop. And I'm happy to say that in Georgia, we have a lot of companies, a lot of organizations, which helps the inter companies to develop uh, rise capital and one of them, of course, is the GITA, Georgia Innovation Technology Agency, 500 staffers. Thanks to you. Thank you for, uh, thank you, the Bank of Georgia, Startup Georgia, TBC Startup, and we have a lot of accelerator hubs in Georgia, in our country. So, in general, let's say that the Georgia is a very, very good opportunity to start new company here, establish new organization, and going up. And of course, I would say that in very, very soon, uh, we see the ecosystem where the, feed, where the uh, consumers can make all day 
operation, financial operator, operations in only one little window, only one little application. And I'm sure that this, this future is very, became very soon. And at last, uh, my friends, I would like to introduce our Georgia market ecosystem of our companies. As you can see, uh, we have a very diversified market in Georgia. We have uh, almost all kinds of activities related to fintech. It's a digital banking, it's a crypto activities, it's e-commerce, e digital payments, financial solutions, lending. It's all these organizations is member of our association, Association of Fintech of Georgia. So I'm honored to uh, be the uh, chairman of this organization and um, I will use this also this platform and uh, say that we are open for any kind of fintech organization and our aim is to collaborate, not competition. We trying to uh, develop our fintech sphere by the comp by the collaboration because we strongly believe that collaboration um, can get more valuable um, uh, products and services. And uh, at last, my friends, don't forget that the, the current age, we are in the stage, we are in the age where the banking is not uh, somewhere we go, it's uh, something you do, do. It's the very famous words of the one of the first fintechers in the world, Brett King, CEO of Moven. So please, um, also I'd like to ask you that please be more involved in fintech, uh, everyday fintech world, everyday fintech activities, because uh, our feedbacks, our recommendations, our um, comments is very crucial, very important for the fintech companies to improve their services and products. Thank you. That's all.